Welcome, Collective. Thank you guys very much for joining me for your tarot read today. I truly appreciate all your guys' views, your likes, your subscribes, and your patience during this time while we're doing sort of some home renovations and uh, things get a little hairy around here. Uh, alrighty, guys, let's go ahead and dig into your energy for today. Let's see what messages come forward, what the Collective needs to hear. I'm getting pulled to letters and numbers. I'm getting told to start with the letters. So that is where we're going to start with you guys today. And if you've been watching for a while, you know the deal with these. If they resonate with you, it might mean that this read is going to be a little bit more personal for you. Uh, the letter C was the first one that popped forward here. We also have X. And Z as well coming forward. Interesting. K2. Okay. And we're getting told to keep going here. F. There's another one popping up. I'm getting told to keep going, keep going. These guys actually, that wanted to come with, so we'll take those two. We have Y, T, B, and G, and I am getting told to stop now. So I'll stop with those guys, and I'm going to move on to the numbers, and we'll allow some of these to come forward. So Spirit, please, which of these needs to come forward for the collective today? Let's just start with the one that fell on the table. I like those ones the best. March. The month of March pop forward. We also have the month of December. We have 10, 17. Oh, we're getting a few months already here. The month of April. We also have 15 and 28. And I will remind you guys too, uh, with, with these numbers, I know we have months in here and a lot of times we think dates. This might not be a date that has occurred yet. Depending on what comes forward in this read, this might be something that is sort of still to come your way. So some of these dates might not have relevance to you yet, but they may have relevance to you in the future, guys. So you gotta keep that in mind depending on what the message is and if it resonates with you. Uh, we also have 25, 5, 16, 24, 27. I didn't get told to stop. So that is where we're going to stop with the numbers today. Uh, I'm getting told the word energy. Energy. So that's my guide's way of saying that we need to pull an energy card for you. We need to talk about the energy uh, that you guys are dealing with or that's around you. I'm getting pulled over to the infinite energy stack. And that is where we're going to get your energy card today, guys. Uh, so spirit. Which one? You know, we had two that wanted to pop forward. Oh, wow. Wow. I think you guys are dealing with quite a doozy here because I'll show you which two cards came forward. Sexuality and greed. These were the two cards that popped forward for you guys today. Sexuality and greed. I got to tell you, I just, the most distinct impression that I get very, very quickly is dealing with somebody who's really kind of slutty. I know that sounds super mean and I don't mean it to say mean, but it, it like somebody's promiscuous, somebody's in player energy. Uh, I don't know if this is somebody you dealt with from the past and who you're healing from, or if this is like right around you and sort of in your future. I just keep getting like it's someone is using their sexuality to get what they want. I don't know who this person is or how this sort of fits into your life. We'll grab more tarot cards to find out. Uh, so what oracle deck are we going to move to this one? So we'll move to the shaman's dream here. I will see what comes forward. So spirit, can you please add to this read? That one needed to come forward. Oh, wow. I feel like we're having an interesting read today here, guys. Uh, Sky bridge. Possibility for union. So this might be a warning for some of you to not get involved with this person. This might be a warning interesting vanishing mirror this is like being able to see the truth so this is like what somebody's putting forward or the image that somebody's presenting it's like shattering and the truth coming forward and the truth coming out i see something being made very clear here not oh, deep diver i'm gonna have to pull a couple more with this one diving into a task because it's like, I don't know if this person has been pursuing you or you've been dealing with somebody who's sort of like, they're like this, they, they sort of pursue people romantically and they've been like, like really going for it, really laying it on thick, stranger curiosity. But I keep getting that there's like this element of, I don't know that I want to call it mystery, is a caution. It feels like a caution. It's like, um... 
there's something there that I can't see. I sense that there's something behind the scenes here with this person, with this energy, but I can't put my finger on what it is, but it makes me cautious. It makes me want to take time to sort of figure out what's going on instead of diving straight into it. The watchers. Oh, well, because your guides are coming forward. Okay, this is your guides coming forward with this read and with this message. And if you're feeling that around somebody where you're like, I don't know. I don't know, like you just got this vibe, like you really got to be careful. You really got to watch. You want to take your time. That is your guides talking to you through your intuition. They are talking to you and they're telling you to be cautious here. I get a really gross feeling off of that sky bridge. A lot of times I don't. A lot of times it, yeah, it speaks of, you know, a possible union, a, part, a possible partnership. I get a lot of darkness off of here. I don't know who this person is who is like trying to make a connection to you or this energy that's being talked about here. This is not somebody you want to connect with. This is somebody who has a lot of darkness. Okay, this is somebody who's a very nasty ass energy. And that's why your guides are working so hard to deter you from having anything to do with this person. Like I said, I don't know who this is, if this is like uh, romance, someone at work, if this is something through online, uh, but you are getting a very distinct message here that says, uh-uh, leave this alone, drop it like a hot potato. You don't want nothing to do with this. Choices and their consequences, feast of plenty. Uh, this card a lot of times speaks to me about karma. Karma, karma come and do, karma being uh, brought forward. Hmm, I'm going to set you, I feel like I need to set it up and to the side for now. And I can't explain why, that's just what my guides are telling me. So I'm going to pull more cards because I want to find out more about why I had to do that. And what's going on here with your, your guides warning you. That one. Falling angel. This person who you're dealing with is a karmic energy. This is a very dark karmic energy that is coming forward. This is somebody who has spiritually lost their way. Okay. So I don't know if they're, if they're dabbling in dark stuff or, or if they just have a very negative dark view of the world. So it, for them, it makes them feel like it's okay to take advantage of other people. Uh, but this person is, they have very much lost their way and very much spiritually lost their way. I don't like this read already. I'm going to have to sage. Um, this person is part of a group. That's a gross read. This is not where I was... Yeah. Okay. I'm not the boss. I would rather not... I got to tell you what I'm being told right now. I would rather not do this read. Um, but if spirit brings it forward, it always brings it forward for a reason. This person is part of a coven. Okay. Whether you believe in witchcraft or not, I think is absolutely irrelevant. I... Uh, this person believes in it and that's what they feel like they're a part of this is a that's why i said spiritually this person has lost their way they are part of a group see that's why i felt so much darkness in that sky bridge i'm going to show you this card again it just it, it keeps just radiating the nastiest freaking energy out to me i don't like it i don't like it i don't know who the hell you're dealing with here uh will of the wisp they are trying to lead you astray Okay, that is what they like to do. I think they do it to many people. Uh, they, I, I got to tell you, I think they get off on it when people follow them along into whatever. They're able to manipulate people into getting what they want. This karmic, this karmic enjoys it. They, this karmic gets off on that, on messing with people. Unmarked trail. Hmm. I got to tell you though, okay, so it's on Mark Trail, it says Revelation. Here the card does not look, like it doesn't look creepy, it doesn't look whatever at all. What I keep getting told by my guides here is there's something that this person doesn't realize, this karmic. There's something this karmic is not seeing, okay? And this is getting pulled back to this Feast of Plenty, choices and their consequences. I do feel like there will be a, a cost to whatever this person is doing. Um, it may be a karmic cost or karma sort of coming forward or being paid. This may have to do with what they're dabbling in spiritually and something they've made a deal with and aren't really taking seriously what it's going to cost them when this thing calls, comes knocking and, and calling in the debt. Okay. 
I, I just don't think they take it seriously. I don't think they're thinking about that. This is something they're not going to see coming. This is something they're not going to see coming. It's like a wake-up call. It's like a, a slap from reality. I have the needle intentionality. Exactly. Be cautious with your intentions, right? We all know that. We all work towards uh, positive karma, trying to send positive intentions and good vibes out into the world, trying to be constructive, honest, uh, trying to move through life with integrity and do the right thing where we can. And it does come back to us in good karma. It does. It always comes back to pay us off in some sort of an opportunity or some sort of a blessing. And the universe looks after us. It doesn't mean we never go through struggles, but the universe still looks after us because we do our part. This person's working against the grain of things. This person's working on the darker side of things. Okay. They have very dark intentions. It changes their energy. It changes their aura and it calls them to the attention of darker things. And then darker things start coming calling. That's what's happening to this person. I don't know who this person is. Dragon sword. This person's very greedy. Uh, financially, uh, monetary, possession wise. They're very greedy. They like to have lots. And the greed card. I mean that was one of the first ones that popped out. Right. Let's face it. That's one of the first ones that popped out. This person is extremely greedy. <laughs> it says on here too, greed makes a man blind and foolish, making him easy prey for death, making it, making this energy easy prey for whatever the hell it's been working with, with the, whatever this person's been dabbling in, those darker forces come and call in. There's a cost. There's always a cost. That's what karma is. It's the cost, right? So you send the positive vibes out to the world and you try to live your best life. And you will be rewarded in some way for that. There will be a cost or something the universe gives back to you for that. You move around with negativity and move around in dark, shady things. Man, there's a cost for that too. I feel like this person feels like they're above it. They're above the cost. They're above what's supposed to come their way. I also feel like they try and deflect it on other people. And this might be a part of sort of what they do. I don't know if they believe in spells or what it is this person thinks they're working in. It's like they try and deflect it on, on others. They try and deflect their karma. They try and deflect their karmic debt. Well, I had I had a viewer leave a, a comment a while ago on one of my videos saying, karma never forgets an address. That's 100% true. Karma never forgets an address. And, and you can't fake it out and you can't return it to sender. If you did the deed, you're going to have to pay the cost. And that's what's going on with this person. Dragon sword. I feel like it's like money 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 hoarding things lots and lots of money um i don't know if this is some kind of career thing this person does yeah it's like they want all of it i even have this overflow overwhelm and plenty this person worries a lot about cash and material wealth uh wanting to gain it they use sexuality they use a darker side of spirituality to try and obtain this to try and obtain this, try and obtain uh, financial success, to try and have lots of possessions, lots of things. This is not a nice person. You're very much getting warned about this energy and having anything to do with this energy. Fortune's wheel. Oh, wow. That's really interesting. This fortune's wheel, I'm being told by my guides that this is actually your card. This is your card. Uh, this is like things starting to turn for you. You turning your wheel of fortune. I see a change in fortunes here. I don't know if this dark energy took something from you and you wound up with sort of the shit end of the stick and you saw this person gain maybe financially for it. Uh, I see the wheel turning. See the wheel turning. This person is going to lose a lot. But you're also going to be gaining. It's like karma coming back into balance. So I don't know exactly what you're going to be gaining. I do feel like it speaks to something that you lost because of this person. Directly related to this person's actions. What they actively went to take away from you is going to be brought back to you. Yeah, because your ancestors are watching over you. They absolutely are. And that's what I got with the watchers. Those are your guides. They are also your ancestors. And that's where this read is coming from today. And that's where this message is coming from. This is coming from your ancestors who are your spirit guides. They are telling you that what they can see on the other side of the veil is that the higher forces are at work 
to bring about a justice here, to bring about a balancing here. Whatever this person's been negatively sending out there, they're getting attention from dark things on the other side. And it is coming back their way. They're going to lose what they have gained. I keep getting that. Lose what they have gained. And it's like, I know it sounds really odd, but it is what my guides are telling me. It's like if this person, say this person cheated someone and gained $100, they're going to lose $100. So whatever it is that they have gained through this nastiness, through this spiritual darkness, through this manipulation, through all this dark way of being, all of that is going to be gone. All the success they've gained, all the status they've gained, all the money that they've gained that directly relates to what they've been doing in a negative way is going to be lost. We're going to grab a few more. In the wall. I got to tell you, it's like supposed to be a lesson for this person. It is supposed to be a lesson for this karmic. This karmic is supposed to be learning a lesson in all of this. When all of this comes to play, uh, when they get when they get humbled by karma, because that's what karma is going to do. Karma is going to humble the shit out of this person. When they get humbled, they are supposed to stop, take a step back, and think about how they brought it on themselves and how if they made different choices in life, they could get different results. Supposed to, right? I always say supposed to. It's up to us whether we decide to learn this lesson or not. It's up to this karmic, whether they're going to actually do that or not, or whether they're just going to get pissed off, feel sorry for themselves. That's theirs. It's like, oh, and they're being funneled. I feel, I keep feeling like this being funneled, the wall obstacles, but you can see a little keyhole and all the obstacles lead up to that keyhole. It's like this person's being funneled in this direction. I don't think they even realize now the way that things are happening. It's almost like dominoes falling, but it's falling on the other side of the veil. So they don't see that things are being set up in a certain way that's driving them into this because they keep making that choice, right? Every day they could wake up and make a different choice. Every day this person could wake up and decide, I'm not going to be a jerk anymore. I'm going to try and give back to the people I took from. I'm gonna try and live an honest way, you know? And it would help to counteract the karmic debt that they have, but every day they wake up and they choose to keep doing the same thing. They choose to feed their ego. They choose to take from others. They choose to sabotage. They choose to dabble in dark things. Every day they choose this. They have no idea what's happening on the other side of the veil, okay? On that other side of the veil, there are forces that are trying to make this equal. There are forces that are trying to bring a balance back. Uh-huh. And the crossing initiation. I keep feeling in this card too. I gotta tell you, this person doesn't have a whole lot of direction either. Like, I'm not, I'm not just talking like moral compass. I don't feel like this person has a lot of real direction or sense of who they are. So they're going with what works. So it doesn't bother them as much to compromise integrity because they really don't have like, this is a life thing that I stand for. This is my motto. This person doesn't have a motto. They just want money. They want money. They want nice things. They want to look rich. They want people to admire them. They want status. These are the things that are important to them and none of the in-between of how you get that, right? So they don't really care how it comes about as long as they get it. The crossing. You know, it's really interesting what I see in this card, I'll tell you. It's like past the point of no return. Past the point of no return. I think this person was given many opportunities to step away from, from this way of being in this world. They were given many opportunities to stop and go, hey, I should think twice about you know, my behavior, I think I should think twice about the way I treat other people, um, about this darkness. I should really start to think about changing. I think they were given lots of opportunities along the way where it was like supposed to be a wake up call. I don't know if this was things that other people said to them or events that happened or seeing harm that they had caused to somebody else that was supposed to trigger their empathy. I just keep seeing like past the point of no return. This person doesn't look back. 
They're not looking back at, at what they've done. They're not looking back at the chaos or destruction that they've caused in other people's lives. They're just very self-focused, very inwardly focused. And it's like, it, maybe it's the darkness they dabble into that is just sort of like, almost like corrupting them. I don't know. But at the end of the day, it's this person's choice. And they have chosen to keep moving this way in life. They've chosen to keep moving down a dark path. They've chosen to be spiritually lost. They've chosen to... I keep feeling like... I know it sounds silly. I keep hearing the word coven when I look at that power of community. It's like they're pulling in other people who are lost too. They're pulling in other people that are lost. And I feel like there's a manipulation in making those people feel like uh, together they all have power. But the truth of it is this person's in it for themselves. So they use that little group just as much as they use everybody else around them. But I do see a change and I do see a shift here. Like the powers behind the scenes have had enough of what this person's doing. And there's going to be something brought back into balance. I keep feeling like it's whatever they have gained through doing this is going to be lost. It's like the equal, right? Equal what we've gained from negative ways is all going to be lost. They're going to be right back at zero again. Right back from zero. Uh, I need a tarot deck. I'm getting pulled to the witch's tarot today, guys. And so can you please clarify, Spirit, what this read is all about for the collective? What's going on? What does the collective need to know? Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Oh, that's interesting. This person is going to think they found a golden opportunity here. That's what's going on. This person thinks they found a golden opportunity. Um... I keep getting movement with the Eight of Wands. Sometimes it's just communication. But I keep feeling like um, I'm moving on to something bigger and better. They, they're going to slip up and say something too. It's like whatever they think this golden opportunity is that they're moving towards. I keep feeling like I'm, I'm really big or like my ego is taking over. This person's ego is very much taking over. Very much taking over. Uh, they're riding to the top. They are. I tell you, they are gaining financial and material and materially they are actually gaining from the negativity that they've been doing they have seen some success here and it's it's gonna trip them up though it's like something in what they say or something in what they do and something in what they show people that slips up and lets them know what their true intentions are because this person is absolutely foolish it is greed makes a man blind and foolish. It makes people blind and foolish. This person thinks that they are above karma. They believe that whatever their dark connection is with the this coven, with the spiritually, whatever this garbage is that this person's been doing with darkness, you do not dabble in dark crap like that. I just, I'm telling you, as a bad time, this person is an absolute fool. They've chosen not to see that with everything comes a cost. They've chosen to ignore the karma that's inevitably coming their way. And it's like, they don't think people are going to see what they're up to. They don't think people are going to find out what they're all about. They think they're, they're so sneaky. They're so above it. Everybody loves them. Everyone thinks they're so great. They're so popular. They have this status. Knight of Cups. I keep seeing like an offering of some sort here. And I kept getting right that partnership, right? That darker partnership. There's some kind of offering that goes on here that they feel like is just too good to be true. They feel like it's their ace of pentacles. They feel like it's their golden opportunity. But it's not. It's something else in disguise. They don't realize what it is. Uh, I keep feeling like it's another energy. I feel like it's a darker, stronger energy than them. Like this person is, they're used to being like Queen Bee. That's the, that's the energy that I keep feeling coming from. They're so used to being like Queen Bee. Nobody can touch them. They're so above it all. Uh, they don't even realize when they've run into somebody who's just like them. Or farther along the line, they got another Queen Bee coming their way another queen bee attitude the moon card and they can't see it coming because they're so foolish they're so blind they're so greedy 
They're just trying to figure out a way to manipulate everybody and get what they want. Six of Wands, recognition and reward. I'm going to tell you, this person gets outed. This person gets outed. Uh, they run into the wrong freaking queen bee. Whoever they run into, like I said, it's somebody who is stronger than them. Spiritually stronger, smarter, more mature, plays the game better. This is somebody, I'm not saying that they run into another karmic. It may be another karmic energy, but it might not be. It's just somebody who can outdo them. They run into the wrong person. They try and screw with the wrong person. And that person is going to out them for who they are. Yeah, they've taken it too far. Like, just getting too big for their britches, this one. Page Pentacles. And the King of Swords. See, and they got all their little groupies here, too. They got all their little groupies who they try and manipulate and, and, and like, rile up and send after this person, too. They're, like, on attack. For whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, this is the one. This is the one they shouldn't have messed with. This is the one this karmic should not have messed with. The Queen of Pentacles. Whoever the Queen of Pentacles is, uh, sometimes she can be an earth sign or somebody who has a lot of earth in their chart. But in her, I see power. I see a lot of power. See, yeah, this is not somebody who should be taken lightly. But this is who this person, this is who this karmic wants to go after. And this karmic's like this king of swords. They use words as weapons. They are cunning. They are cool. Their emotions are shut down. Uh, they always got a plan working behind the scenes. They don't even share that with their little groupies. Here's their little groupies, their little friends in this page of pentacles. And they're trying to rile up their little buddies to send their little buddies after this person too. I had to tell you, this is not going to end well for them. We got justice here too. Balance. Things coming back into balance. I keep getting this vibe too about whoever their little friends are, start to see them for who they are too. It's like, I don't know if they try and encourage their little friends to put themselves in a bad spot where they could actually wind up in some pretty big trouble trying to sick them on this person and their friends go, well, why don't you do it? It's kind of, you know, they're trying to like keep their hands clean or like get somebody else to do their dirty work and manipulate because I keep feeling like it all comes out. It all comes out and everybody knows who this person is. Yeah, see, they're like Queen of Wands. Queen Bee, Queen Bee. They just want to direct everybody. They want to boss everybody around, tell everybody what to do. They see themselves in this high status way, this real high status, uh, like nothing can touch them. I just keep getting that vibe, like from this Queen of Wands. I'll show you again. If you guys own the Witch's Tarot, you know what I'm talking about. She's got this look on her face like her shit don't sink, right? Like nothing can touch her. Nothing can touch her like she's Teflon, but it's not true. It's not true. Karma's noticed. The universe has noticed. And she screwed with the wrong queen, that queen of pentacles she should not have messed with. That is somebody extremely powerful and that's somebody who's not going to put up with this garbage. There's the two of pentacles. Balance. Things coming back into balance. Yeah. This person's trying to juggle too many lies and too many manipulations at once. Yeah. This is a nasty energy, guys. I'm going to be saging right after this because this one just I don't like this one I don't like this energy that comes forward page of swords seeking information spying spying this person spies they spy on on people they don't like they spy on their competition I think this is part of how they this is part of how they mess with people too I think they spread rumors they spread rumors they use words as weapons to cause trouble they rile up other people to start a little group against others against others but this queen of pentacles sits up above all that whoever she represents uh it is just because it's coming forward as queen does not mean it is a woman it just means it's coming forward as a more feminine energy and i just feel her strong powerful grounded she's a very smart person she's not going to put up with this crap she doesn't put up with garbage whoever this queen of pentacles is they don't put up with garbage and i think they know they're being spied on too it's like I don't know, I don't want to say that she's like playing stupid here, but I think she knows exactly what's going on. I think she knows exactly what's going on. See, that's what I, that vibe I was getting with that stranger card too. It was like um, somebody coming forward or having something to do with someone, but like 
have this distinct impression that like there's something going on behind the scenes. This person isn't what they're pretending to be or there's something more but you can't put your finger on it. That Queen of Pentacles knows that there's something more that they can't see. They know that there's a bigger game afoot. They know that there's something going on behind the scenes. Star card. I gotta tell you. Hmm. No, this is like this person's games are all coming out because they're going to piss off their little group too. Their little group is going to out them too. Once all this starts coming out and their group sees them for who they are, everybody's going to turn on this person. This person has some mega karma coming. Like I said, there is, there is some sort of career or monetary karma coming where this person is going to lose their money. And then everybody who they've been sort of hanging out with in this little coven, this little group that they have, turns on them too. Everybody turns on this person. This is nobody wants to be around darkness. Nobody wants to be taken advantage of. Nobody wants to spend any time around somebody who's like that. And nobody wants to be associated with them either. Losing sleep, worry, depression, anxiety. This person is heading straight towards burdens. That's all I see. And it's like it's meant to teach them a lesson. This karma coming to you is meant to teach this karmic a lesson. It's meant to wake them up. It's meant to, to shake them into looking at themselves in the way that they go through the world. I don't know that they're going to do it. That's what it's meant for. That's what the cards are saying. That's what your ancestors are saying in this read. So this person's been after you. And you've been worrying about this. Don't worry. Because the powers that be have noticed. Keep your distance from them. Like, keep your distance. This person is going to get what's coming their way. They're running into the wrong Queen of Pentacles. That might be you. You might be the, the Queen of Pentacles who takes them down. Or it might be somebody else. But this person, their little reign of terror is about up. And the hangman is exactly right. This person did it to themselves. This person put themselves in this situation by causing other people burdens. Every burden they gave to everybody else was like added to their karmic debt. So they were actually giving themselves burdens for the future without knowing it. Mm -hmm. I keep getting like, they think what they have is solid. They think what they've built through all this negativity and all this because they do have some financial success here or career success or whatever this is. They have actually found success with this. They feel like whatever it is, is stable. Whatever it is has a solid foundation and will not get knocked down. They feel like it's forever. It's in it for the long haul. They have this way of beating out the competition by, by sabotaging them. By sicking their little groupies on them. By spreading rumors. By being negative. But their little reign of terror is over. It is absolutely over. There's the death card. There's the death card. The lovers. They make a poor choice in relationships too. And, and I'm not talking like romance or stuff like that. It's this queen of pentacles. It's whoever they're going after with this queen of pentacles. Their association with them. With their, their attempted manipulation. And to sabotage this person. Or to manipulate them and take control of them. That decision is the one that hoops this person in the long run. That's when everything comes back on them. That's when it, what goes around winds up coming around. Temperance. Mm -hmm. I gotta tell you, man. This person is a not nice energy. They are so greedy. They are so greedy. They are so callous. This is somebody who's like... They, maybe at one point they had empathy. Maybe they were an empathetic person at one point. Right now they are not. Right now they are not. Right now they are selfish. Right now they are self-centered. They are self-focused. They don't see beyond themselves and what benefits them. They are a very gross energy. But you put that out into the world and you will pay the price. Something's going to bring this person down. Someone is going to bring this person down. 
is that Queen of Pentacles. I don't know who that Queen of Pentacles is, who this person messes with. They just think they're Queen Bee. They think they're top shit. They think nobody can touch them. Yeah, there's their little coven too. They think their coven makes them strong. They think they can do magic. They think they can do spells. This is what they believe. They believe they're above it all. They believe they're like a high priest. They believe they have all this power. Uh, I don't know if they take on a role of like where they influence other people. Because I do get the, the high priest is like the hierophant in this deck. And I keep getting that feeling of like telling other people what to do or telling other people how to think or how they should live their lives. They definitely manipulate their little coven group. I wouldn't be surprised if they try and do that with other people too. We're going to grab a few more here. Can you give me some more, please, spirit? Keep this going here. Oh, yeah. I don't know. They're doing dark shit. I'm not even going to dive into asking spirit what it is. Because I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to bring that kind of energy into my home where I do my reads. Uh, but they do dark shit. This person is doing dark things. Uh, it's a way of trying to get money from people. To manipulate people. Like putting spells on them and, and garbage like that they think they're doing. Uh, to try and be greedy. To try and sabotage other people. And bring uh, more financial gain their way. Seven of Wands. I gotta tell you though, that's seven of wands. Somebody's, see that queen, that queen of pentacles, whoever that is, that is somebody who is immune to their garbage. Okay, that is somebody who will not be manipulated. That is somebody who is spiritually strong and who can block this person. I don't know if this is spiritual warfare or what this is. I, it does tie into money and greed though. I'll tell you that for damn sure. And this queen of pentacles, whoever this is, this person is strong enough to block all this garbage. This person is strong enough to block this person. Up. And the Queen of Cups. Hmm. And I gotta tell you too, I get a softer energy with this Queen of Cups. And this might be um, some of who this read is for too. I do feel a lot of emotions attached to it. Um, maybe this was somebody who you already dealt with. Or somebody who has already dealt with this person and is trying to do some healing, but is still dealing with the emotional aftermath of sort of uh, being manipulated or being sabotaged or whatever this is. I do see that when this tower comes to this person, this will help with healing with who's been, who's sort of been jilted by this person, who this person has messed with, who this person has taken advantage of. Um, I do see that when their tower falls and their karma comes up calling, this will help others who have been their victims to release some of these emotions and to start moving on as sort of like renewed faith in the universe that this justice exists and that karma is real. Two of cups. The king of cups. And to whoever, too, if this is resonating with you with somebody who, like, you're getting that vibe about, like, you really don't, there's something there that they're not sharing with you, there's something that's going on behind the scenes, there's something that this person is hiding, don't be afraid to keep somebody at arm's length and keep things slow until you figure out who they are, because this is going to play out in time. If that's what's going on with someone, don't be afraid to keep somebody a little bit further away and keep things casual. Even if they're pushing for something more, if you're not comfortable with it, don't be afraid to keep that distance. Don't be afraid to keep, you know, those boundaries up. Because I got cards here that say that this is not somebody who anyone would want to have a relationship with. A romantic friendship. This person is a karmic. This person is a manipulator. This person is a thief. This person is greedy. This is not somebody you want to get involved with because their karmic debt is coming up fast. This person is due for towers. Financial towers social towers, it's all connected and everything is going to come down. It's funny, the sexuality keeps coming up. I also have the king of cups, the two of cups, and I feel like kind of that romantic connection. I was almost feeling with it with, uh, with that knight of cups too, but it wasn't in a lot of the other cards. I almost wonder if this has to do with maybe a lover and maybe this queen of pentacles energy is like a lover that this person takes on. 
and it's the wrong one. They expose themselves to the wrong person or they push out the wrong person because their sexuality may play a role in their downfall too. It may absolutely play a role in their downfall like they piss off the wrong person or they stick their nose into someone's relationship and make the wrong enemy. I just know that one person, this Queen of Pentacles energy, is going to bring this person down. It's going to be exposing who this person is. Their coven is going to abandon them because they've been using their coven too. Their coven is not is going to wind up pissed off and wanting nothing to do with them. Financially, whatever this person has gained by taking advantage of other people and being negative and the spiritual darkness they've been using, they will lose that. This person is going to have loss after loss after loss. This is, like we saw right at the beginning of the read, this is karma coming calling. This is this debt that this person has been accumulating for some time. Every win, every financial win was just a debt that they were going to have to pay later. And that later is coming close. That later is coming up now. And I think that's why the cards are bringing it forward, why the ancestors are bringing it forward. They're like, keep your distance. This person's about to get it. The shit's about to hit the fan with them. Yeah, they keep coming around like a friend or they keep coming around looking for some kind of romance because you're like this empress energy. You're this, this abundance. You give off abundance. You give off this nurturing energy. Takers love that. I mean, good people do too, but you do have to be wary of takers. And this one is a taker and they're getting pulled in and pulled in and trying to pull you in every chance they get and trying to talk you into allowing them to come into your life. But something about them just, it just seems off to you. It just seems wrong. Trust that that's your ancestors warning you. And they're telling you in this read what this person is all about. This person is darkness. Okay, this person dabbles in spiritually dark things. They're spiritually lost. This person is greedy. This person is a liar. This person is a taker. They're saying, don't allow the wool to be pulled over your eyes. Trust your intuition. Your intuition is telling you that there's something you can't see here and it's not something you're going to like. Trust that. Trust that and don't be afraid to step away from this. Because what the cards are saying, that in a very short amount of time, I don't feel like you're going to have to wait very long, things are going to unfold. That is going to show you exactly who this person is. And this person will be exposed for who they are. And they will be stripped of everything that they've gained through this darkness. I said this karma. Karma's come and call in. This debt is going to have to be paid. And karma's going to humble this person big time. Or at least attempt to humble them. We'll see if they're smart enough to figure that lesson out though, guys. Alrighty, everyone. Take care.